When the cable car inspector Christian Vaza puts his helmet on, many owners of smaller mountain lifts hold their breath. It can work out very costly if the inspector finds any technical problems. In fact, it can even cause the lift to be closed down. Since 2007, when the laws were changed, the smaller lifts have had to meet the same safety requirements as the large mountain cable car operators. The braking system now has to be two or three times as secure as before. The small lifts also have to conform to these standards. But the measures go too far and it costs us a lot. But it's all about being safe. That's true, but our lift was already safe. The supporting cable is tested, then a special measuring device is used on the pulling cable. We've set things up so that we can test the pulling cable. Everything is fine. Sepp, you can get in the lift and go up the mountain in the normal way. And you can lightly hold the cable while I have a look at what's happening on the computer. The top cables are in good shape, but the running gear has to be replaced. This will cost the cooperative that runs the lift 7,000 francs. Things look even worse for the lower section of the Spear Sinskoy lift. The red gondolas are more than 40 years old. If anything has to be replaced here, farmer Josef Dura says he won't be able to afford the new equipment. More than 200 small cable cars in Switzerland allow tourists to discover the mountains. For the farmers, the cable cars are often their only link to the outside world. Mountain farmer Max Fiersch goes with his family to fetch his son from the lift after school. Thanks to the cable car, the children can go to school on their own. The new safety rules are threatening this idyll. The cable car needs new controls, extra brakes. Max Fiersch says he just can't afford it. Our lift is threatened just like all the others. If the costs go sky high, you have to say, now it's all over. The Federal Transport Office explained why it has to enforce the law. A political decision was made 10 years ago to apply the same laws to small and large lift operators. The controlling authorities can't make exceptions or decide not to apply the law. If people want exceptions, politicians will have to change the law. The small cable car owners have now decided to band together and ask the parliament in Bern to relax the rules. If cable cars don't meet the latest safety requirements, Aren't they dangerous? In some cases, updates are needed. Some parts are defective and may need to be fixed quickly or over a period of time. But on the whole, people don't have to worry about getting into these lifts. For many small cable car operators, a relaxation in the law or more cash help for operators will come too late if they come at all.